tennis star Janik Sinner had been cleared of doping after testing positive for a banned substance. But the World Anti-Doping Agency WADA are not giving UP. Janik Sinner's lawyer has called the World Anti-Doping Agency's WADA appeal against the tennis star unnecessary after he was originally cleared of wrongdoing in his doping case. The two-time Grand Slam winner was adjudged by the International Tennis Integrity Agency's ISHIA to bear no fault or negligence for twice testing positive for Clostebol, a banned substance, in March this year. But WADA claimed that the judgment was not correct under the applicable rules and are calling for Sinner, 24, to be banned for between one and two years from tennis worldwide. In a statement released on September 26, WADA confirmed that it would be taking the case to the Court of Arbitration for Sport CAS following the ATIA's decision not to punish Sinner. The statement read it is WADA's view that the finding of no fault or negligence was not correct under the applicable rules. WADA is seeking a period of ineligibility of between one and two years. WADA is not seeking a disqualification of any results, save that which has already been imposed by the tribunal of first instance Jamie Singer, who acted on behalf of the Italian in the first investigation, insisted that the appeal by WADA was unnecessary because the world no one has not been accused of gaining an advantage in his performances. They believe that he is somehow responsible for the actions of his team, and for this reason they ask for him to be punished, Singer told Gazetta Dello Sport. Janik said he was surprised and sorry for this appeal that he did not expect. We were surprised too, to be honest. After Janik tested positive for Klosti Bowl in an infinitesimal amount, the International Tennis Integrity Agency understood the sensitivity of the case and turned to an expert independent tribunal instead of ruling directly.